Another variant we can do, for example, here is to create a new parameter to describe a state uh, for this object. So it can be a string with a set of um, predefined value like OK or fault. And then, for example, say that this icon here will blink when the state is, uh, is fault. So we add again a new condition on the state. On the state is equals to is equal to fault. We can say, for example, that this object would blink. Again, going to test mode, we can check that everything is is going well. There is an alarm, and when the object is in fault. When we're happy with the symbols, we can save it either in an existing palette or in a new palette. Here, we can say that it would be the notes palette and stored in a particular package name because the palettes are stored in a jar file. So notes.jar and we'd save it. When we have finished with this symbol, we can now go to the next step, meaning reusing the symbols we have stored in a palette for our uh, diagramming application. Now we have created symbols. We'll see how the other tool, the designer, is used to automate the creation of the diagram based on a data model and some styling information. So we're in the designer, and we're going to start by importing some uh, typical data we want to use to create the styling information for the application. So in this example, we start with a flat file made of two uh, distinct uh, parts. The first would be the node definition, so a data file containing typical information for your nodes. And a second step with another file containing the connectivity information. So the to and the from attributes uh, for the connectivity and other interesting values you want to display on the links. When the import is done, you see the result in terms of uh, you know nodes and links of your actions, and then you can start by uh, selecting the type of layout you want to to use for your application. So it could be based on X Y location, on latitude and longitude information, or based on automatic layout. Here, if we, if we click next, we can select uh, different predefined placements. Uh, strategies, for example, a regular tree, particularly appropriate for uh, displaying a network. When we click on Finish, we see uh, the results of our definition. So here we have topology created from uh, the data files, and we can start to define some styles. For example, we can assign a particular symbol for uh, all the nodes of uh, this application. So we're going to take uh, the symbol we have uh, created in the symbol editor, and we're going to associate that with uh, all the nodes for our application. In addition to that, we can start taking the different parameters and making associations between the parameters for the symbols and the model uh, we have imported. So the name here will be associated um, with the, uh, uh, the name of the, the data model. Same for the type. The type here is associated with the, the, the type attribute of our, our little uh, symbol. So if we look here, we can see that the, the printer, the network, the computer have been automatically associated. Uh, for the alarm, it could be a little bit different. So in this case, we're going to create a style rule that will say that um, here we see the different values for the for the alarm uh, field. So non, major, or critical. So we're going to say if the alarm is not uh, is not none, is different from none, we're in a particular state. And in this state, we're going to force the alarm to true. So here, we see that all the nodes that have uh, either major or critical in the 
other fields are, are displayed in, in red here. If you look at other options you have um, in this tiling uh, definition, for example, one of the most interesting is the Bratriat algorithm you want to try on this topology. So we have the choice between the different you know, types of algorithms, including um, different attributes and you know, settings for each of these algorithms. So for example, here I selected the hierarchical layout. I can select the, the orientation. I can also uh, select the execution policy, meaning that the layout would be performed on request or automatically every time the data changes. I can also add some um, automatic link routing algorithm. Say that I'm going to have, you know, a hierarchical link layout that will automate the routing of those links based on the, the placement of the different nodes. If I go to the edit mode here, I can see exactly what happens. When I move the nodes, you can see that the links are routed automatically. If I move the nodes, you see the link is trying to, to move around the nodes to avoid collisions and overlap. If I add a new node here, adding this new computer to the network, or adding a printer uh, associated with this particular computer, I can apply the automatic layout to have something that is pretty uh, and understandable uh, on the screen. So what we have defined here in this styling uh, editor is the rule that allows you to turn some data information into some actionable graphics that will present the data, automate the placement, and manage some editing um, um, gestures and configuration that you can then apply in your application to your own data model. So the three-step process we have seen here involving the symbol editor, the designer, and the SDK, uh, we think is a good approach for doing graphical programming. We hope you enjoyed this presentation, and please visit our website to check uh, the other online resources we have posted there. Thank you.